my name is Ada. I'm one of the instructors here at AGT Trucking School. I'm also a former CDL examiner for the Department of Motor Vehicles here in California. Today we're going to be performing the modernization pre-trip. We're going to be using this vehicle. This vehicle is a Class A passenger vehicle, also known as a unicorn. With this vehicle, you're able to get your Class A and your passenger endorsement all in one test. Therefore, we're going to be performing the inspection, inspecting all the Class A components as well as your passenger components. We're going to start in the in cab. Let's come on in. I'm going to be performing the air brake test as if I was performing it for the examiner. If you want more detailed information, you can go to our other video. Now I'll begin with my cutout test. Okay, I'm going to accelerate to no more than 1,000 RPMs to help the needle rise. Okay, my needle stopped rising at 123 PSI. This is a good test. Okay, I'm going to perform my applied air leakage test. My wheels are chopped. Stepping on my brake, waiting for my needle to settle. Okay, my needle has settled at 85 PSI. I'm going to begin my minute. Within this minute, I should not lose more than 4 PSI. My minute is up. My needle is still at 85 PSI. I lost 0 PSI. This is a good test. I'm now going to continue with my low air warning test. <laughs> My alarm came on, my alarm came on, it came on prior to 55 PSI or no lower than 55 PSI, this is a good test. I'm performing my pop-out test. Okay, both my parking brake and my trailer brake popped out at 20 PSI. It did not fall below 20 PSI. This is a good test. I'm now going to perform my tech test. In order for me to perform my tech test, I need a full set of tanks. So I'm going to start my engine and fill up my tanks. Okay, my tanks are full. I'm going to make sure my brakes are on and remove my chocks. Okay, I'm now going to begin my tug test. I'm going to start by checking my parking brake. I'm going to turn on my engine, step on my brake, release my trailer brake, put the vehicle in drive, making sure that my tractor brake holds. Stepping on my brake, releasing my trailer brake, putting the vehicle in drive, releasing my brake, and accelerating. Okay, my tractor brake held. I'm now going to test my trailer brake. I'm going to engage my trailer brake, release my parking brake, set my vehicle in drive, step on the accelerator, okay? and my trailer brake held. I am now going to test my service brake. I'm going to release my trailer brake. My parking brake is already released, making sure my vehicle is in drive. I'm going to pull forward, making sure that uh, my, when I step on the brake, my service brake holds, and that my vehicle does not move 
to the left or the right. Okay, my service brake held. My vehicle did not veer to the left or the right, indicating this is a good test. This now concludes my air brake test. We're gonna continue with the in cab. We're gonna start checking my lights. I have my left turn signal working properly, my right turn signal working properly, my four-way flashers working properly, my lights, clearance lights, and high beam working properly. I noticed that my ABS light came on and off, indicating it's working properly. Now I'm gonna continue with my um, fuses. I have all my extra fuses here. I've got my fire extinguisher. It's properly charged, up to date, needle and green. It's securely mounted with the proper straps and it's ready to use. My three reflector triangles, they are stowed away properly, not cracked, broken, or damaged. Coming over to my mirror. I have my mirror is not cracked, broken, or damaged free from any illegal stickers. It's securely mounted to the bracket. And most importantly, it's adjusted to my view. My windshield is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It is securely mounted with the proper rubber seal. It's clean and free of any illegal stickers. I have my windshield wipers and my windshield wiper blades. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are securely mounted with all the proper hardware. The rubber on my blades are not dry rotted and they are working properly. My heater and defroster are working properly. Turn it to the defroster and my heater. My city horn is working properly and my highway horn is working properly. At this point, I would ask, ask the examiner if they can help me check my external lights operation, and I would be checking my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my high beams and low beams, and my four-way flashers for the front. I would ask them to go to the rear and ask them to check all the same lights, including my brake lights. Now we're on the outside. We're going to begin with the clearance lights. The clearance lights are amber in color, they are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are securely mounted with all the proper screws working properly. My headlights are clear in color. My indicator lights are amber in color. They're not cracked, broken, or damaged. Securely fastened with the proper hardware working properly. Checking underneath my vehicle. I'm making sure I see no puddle leaks such as oil or water. I'm also checking that my suspension is leveled, not leaning to one side or another. I'm now going to go into the engine compartment. I'm gonna unlatch the latches. And I'm going to open the hood with three point contact. Checking my coolant reservoir. It's not cracked, broken or damaged. It's securely mounted with all the proper bolts and nuts. The cap is tight. The fluid is above the refill mark and I see no leaks. Okay, I'm going to be checking my oil dipstick. It's not cracked, broken or damaged. It's securely mounted. To check my oil, I would remove the oil dipstick, wipe it clean, reinsert it, take it out again and make sure that the oil is at level. Checking my Power steering fluid. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with the proper bolts and nuts. The cap is tight. The fluid is above the refill mark. It is not leaking. I'm gonna make a general overview of all my hoses. My hoses have no abrasion bubbles or cuts. They are fastened on both ends with the proper fittings. I see no leaks and I hear no leaks. My steering column is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with the U-joints, properly greased. My steering box 
is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with the proper bolts and nuts. It is not leaking. The steering box hose has no abrasion bubbles or cuts. Securely fastened on both ends with the proper clamps. It is not leaking. I have my pitman arm, my drag link, and my steering knuckle. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged. Securely mounted with the proper bolts and nuts. The castle nut is not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are present, and the cotter pin is in place. My tire is evenly worn. My front tire should not be no less than 430 seconds of thread depth. I check that with a thread depth gauge. Front tire should not be recapped. I'm checking my sidewalls. My sidewalls have no abrasion bubbles or cuts. The tire is mounted securely. I'm making sure that my inflation is at 105 PSI or to manufacturer specification. I would check that via the valve stem. The valve stem is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted. I hear no air leaks. The cap is tight. The valve stem is accessible. And this is where I would check my inflation with the air gauge. My rim, it's securely mounted via the lug nuts. The rim is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It is free from any illegal welds. My lug nuts are all present, none are missing. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are free from any rust trails or shiny threads indicating looseness. My leaf spring mounts are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are securely mounted with all the proper bolts and nuts. My leaf springs are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are not scissored and none of them are missing. They are securely mounted via the U-bolts. My shock absorber is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with the proper bolts and nuts. I see no leaks. My brake hoses have no abrasion bubbles or cuts. They are securely fastened on both ends with the proper fittings. I hear no air leaks. I have my brake shoe and brake drum. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are free of any contaminants such as oil or grease. Now I'm going to close my hood and check all my side lights. Okay, I'm checking my indicator light here and I'm checking all my side lights to my trailer. They are not cracked, broken or damaged. They are securely mounted with all the proper screws. They are amber to the front red to the back. I'm also checking my DOT tape and my reflector tape. They are not torn, ripped, or damaged. They are properly adhered to the trailer and they are up to DOT standards. My mirror bracket. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with all the proper hardware. My battery box is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with all the proper bolts and nuts. The lid is securely fastened with the latch. The batteries inside are securely mounted with all the proper bolts and nuts. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are free from any corrosion or any leaks. The wires are fastened securely. They are not frayed. There's no exposed wires. The fuel tank is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with the straps. No bolts or nuts missing. The rubber seal is intact. The fuel tank cap is securely tight. It's not leaking. I'm checking under my fuel tank to see if there's any leaks and it is free of any leaks. We have our DEF tank. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with all the proper bolts and nuts. The cap is tight. All the wiring is secure. There's no leaks underneath, no leaks from the cap, and it is above the refill mark. I'll be checking my frame on my tractor and my trailer with the cross members. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are securely mounted with all the proper hardware. They are free of any illegal welds and they are free of any illegal holes. Okay, I'm checking my emergency line and my service line. 
making sure that they are properly fastened to the tractor with the proper fittings tight and secure. Checking my electrical line, making sure that it is seated properly to the tractor with the fat flap in place, not cracked, broken, or damaged. I'm also checking my glad hands, making sure they are seated in the proper position to the trailer, not cracked, broken, or damaged. The rubber seal is intact. My electrical line is also seated properly to the trailer, not cracked, broken, or damaged with the fat flap in place. I'm checking my air hoses, making sure that I hear no leaks. Checking my electrical line, making sure there's no exposed wires. I'm also checking all my lines, making sure none of them have any abrasion bubbles or cuts. They are not tangled, they are not dragging. I am now checking my fifth wheel. I'm going to start with my apron. My apron is not cracked, broken, or dented. It is securely mounted to the trailer. There are no gaps in between my fifth wheel and my apron. The fifth wheel is properly greased, not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted with all the proper hardware. My release handle, it's not cracked, broken, or damaged. It is in the engaged position. I have my safety latch. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. Securely mounted, the bolts and nut are in place. My platform is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with all the proper bolts and nuts. All the bolts and nuts are present, not cracked, broken, or damaged, free of any rust trails or shiny threads. Check in my kingpin. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's not dented. It's securely mounted to the apron. The locking jaw locks properly around the kingpin not cracked, broken, or damaged. We are now checking the landing gear. The landing gear and the landing gear frame are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are securely mounted with all the proper hardware. The landing gear shoe is in the upright position, not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted. The landing gear handle is not cracked, broken, or damaged, securely mounted with all the proper hardware in the proper stowed away position. I'm now checking my clearance. I'm making sure that my mud flap clears my landing gear when making all turns. We're now going to be checking the rear lights of the vehicle. I'm going to start with my clearance lights. The clearance lights are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are securely mounted with all the proper screws. They are red in color, working properly. Next, I'm checking my brake light, red in color. My indicator lights are amber in color. My backup lights are white in color. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged. They are securely mounted with a proper rubber seal. We are now going to start the passenger portion of the pre-trip. We are going to start with our passenger door. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with all the proper hardware. The hinges are not cracked, broken, or damaged. I'm checking my steps. They are free of any trash, oil, or water. The tread is not worn dangerously thin. The step light is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with all the proper screws. We have a handicap lift here. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with all the proper hardware. It is not leaking, and it is in the stowed away position. I'm checking my emergency exits, making sure they're not cracked, broken, or damaged. All the labels are properly adhered, not ripped or torn. I'm going to check my emergency exit, make sure it opens and closes properly. Making sure that my seat is properly secured to the frame, not torn, ripped, or damaged. The frame itself is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with the proper bolts and nuts to the floor. I'm checking my mirror. My mirror is not cracked, broken, or damaged. It's securely mounted with all the proper hardware and it is adjusted to my view. This will conclude the Class A passenger pre-trip inspection.